guys and welcome to another tutorial here on Shade Designs and today's tutorial is a request sent in by the YouTube for username Legend One Born and of course he asked me um, you know if if I could show you guys uh, you know to create a tutorial um, on how to make a music poster or a movie poster or he was interested in making you know in how to make a poster so that's what today's tutorial is about okay Okay, so let's go in and of course, before we start this, we always start with the um, the Twitter page. You can follow me, twitter.com forward slash shade designs. I'm also on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash shade designs. And, and also I'll be posting with all the, um, with all the tutorials for hints, um, with anything like you'd like to ask, just post it on there. And I also have the website which is up and running at the moment, but I'm still um, you know, still you're customizing at the moment. Um, it's in a bit of a mess, but at the same time, it's working. It's functionally for working. Um, you could also download today's material for um, the video that I'm making. There will be some materials, um, you know, some images that I'll provide, and you can download it from was it Shade Designs. So when you log on to my website, just head on to um, the videos uh, was a tab, and under tutorial materials you see um well hopefully it would say here um you know uh, it would say movie poster um and and you'll be able to download the files so we just click on for download it will be of course into a zip uh compressed zip file okay so let's get into today's tutorial okay now of course so we go to the here now of course now i provided you guys this uh image for today's for today's for tutorials, so the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna you know try to you know, customize things a little bit. So um so once you get so this image in your file, um what you do is you of course like you open up on to Photoshop, you select select all by um by pressing Control A or Command A, then Control C to copy, um, and then paste it in a new document. Paste it into a new document by pressing Control N or Command N, um, and the uh, specifications, the width and the height, is already in there for you, so you don't have to change anything. Just press OK, and press and paste the image by pressing Control V or Command V. Okay, so once you have the image pasted, so we're gonna you know change a little bit about things. Okay, so we're gonna change this image and change it to the way how we want it to be. Okay, so what we're gonna do is of course take off this Xbox 360 logo here so just you know just delete that uh, press your magic one tool which is this one here you select this part as you can see it's all part selected and then just press delete and then that's off see now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a circle here okay so we're gonna um, you know to draw a circle here but I want to use the um, you know if I want to use this specific color here for the circle, okay, so the way that you can get that specific color instead of, you know, just wasting your time and playing around with the colors, you know, trying to find tricking around with it, the easiest way to match that color is to simply, you know, click on to select, uh, and actually, you select, uh, no, no, sorry, um, yeah, you click on to image, adjustments, and then head down to match color. No, sorry, no, match color, replace color, it's a bit weird, it's is all the way things around. I re press replace color and then you select, you know, the, you know, like the color that you want. As you can see in the dialog box, as you can see, if we click on, for example, this dark green, it gives us already, um, and then you press that, it gives us the code for that specific color that we can use. So if we don't want to use that, we want to use this color. So you just click on this space here. Then you get that color, then you just copy that code. Uh, press OK and then just press cancel on that and then head down to your shapes uh, tool right hand click and you'll be see, you'll be able to see a lot of other um, different type of shapes and click on to the eclipse tool now they don't have a circle um, was it a circle um, shape uh, you, you just have to do with the eclipse tool but don't worry you'll get a perfect uh, circle and you know if a lot of people were also wondering how to get the perfect circle using Photoshop, you know, is it, um, you know, is it hard to do that? It's just, it's, you know, it's very simple. So what you do is you um, create a new layer, of course, wait, so we're just going to place that, so click on to layer, uh, new layer, so we're going to 
in Pesha. Now the reason why I set a new layer is that if I um, if I place the circle at the moment like this, as you can see, it's already it's placed on top of our our um, the background image. As you can see on the layer, and uh, if you move it around, you can like you move the whole the image around. So that's so that's the stuff. So that's the reason why I selected um, I. Um, I placed a new layer. Okay, so go to layer, new layer, enter. Okay, now we're gonna just click on to the eclipse tool again, and you know just be simply just holding your shift key, which is the best key that you'd be using in Photoshop, and then just draw a circle or pull your mouse, and then as you can see, it's a perfect circle. Now, just go back. Now, if you if you didn't use the shift key, this is the type of shape you'll be getting. See. You will never get the perfect circle, okay? So that's the reason why I tell you guys to use the um, the, the shift key, okay? So we're gonna place that circle. We're gonna put that circle. See, see now we can you know just move this circle far by itself. We don't have to drag the bottom image al along with it, okay? As you can see, we're gonna place it right there, okay? Now it looks like this green has been blended into the circle. See, so it looks a bit professionally and yeah you know it's gonna be a bit nice okay um so go back to the first layer and we're gonna delete this part as well this little this bit of a bit of a chunky um green part actually uh what we can do is um right if we delete that that gives us more space for our drawing we yeah, actually a bit yeah just delete that part okay Okay, ooh. Now, if you have this in you know, a little spare, um, you know, little drops and you know, little fat dots, just get your rubber um, and then just go over it. Okay, just don't worry because it won't for ruin your final, uh, was it for post at the end? Okay, then zoom out, and now we're gonna get, um, was it a background for the background? Um, I know it doesn't quite make sense, but we're going to get a background to stick in the white space that we have here at the moment. So we're going to get to, um, you know, a simple Google search. Okay, let's just go to, and we're just going to type in, um, uh, let's go to, um, let's go to American City. Okay, actually, New York City, that's a we need something just for a nice poster that we can get, okay? And then just get, just make it for large because we don't want a small image, and, okay? And then just choose uh, if any image that you want. Um, let's just go for let's go for the first one that looks a bit nice, okay? And don't worry about the color because we're gonna play around with it. We're gonna tweak things around with it, okay? Perfect. Copy that and then go to I uh, think and then paste it. Now as you can see. Uh, okay, just make this uh, image a bit small by zooming out, of course, and then um, just pressing Command T or Control T. If hold the Shift key again, as I said, and then just go to one of these corner things and just drag it down. Okay, as you can see, you're gonna put it right here and then put it, put it okay right there. Okay, now. Don't worry if you have this space because I want to just want to show you a quick little, um, you know, little you know, guideline you can use for um, you know the future purposes. If you want to know exactly like where you know that you know that bit of yeah, green line um, it touches this image, what you could do is on on the city layer image you um, decrease the opacity. You know something about that. See it? See now by reducing the opacity. Uh, you could see that you know here's the greenness, right? So you could see that this part of the image will not be seen because this green part is covering it. Okay, so that just gives you a guideline on where your image, you know, would um, you know would uh, would meet. Uh, press Command T again. Um, so put that right there. Okay, perfect. That looks nice. Okay, and then just put back the opacity back to 100%. Okay, now we're going to bring the city layer. We're going to bring it far behind the green uh, for layer. Okay, so we're going to just quickly just move that underneath. And you can see, well, we have 
the image intact. Okay, so this is the same process that they do when you know, like when you go to professional photographers and stuff. This is exactly the same thing they do. Okay, they just they make their own for borders and things like that, and they just paste. They take a photo of you, um, you know, and they just you know place it behind the image and they print it out. You know, that's how easy it is to do. Also for you know like the ads that you might see and stuff. These are the basic things that they do. Okay. Now look, once you have that, is that we're going to apply. Um, if you want, you can play around the colors the cheap way. There's you know there's a cheap way of doing it, and there's a there's a really good way of changing your colors. So the cheap way of doing it, just you hit it to um, you, you click onto your image, click onto adjustments, and go to hue saturations. Okay. Now on the hue saturations, you can play around with these dialogues. Okay, and um, See, as you can see, if I move the thing, uh, if I move this, uh, your dollars to, if I move them, it keeps changing. So that's the cheap way. So that's the easiest way that you could do, okay? Okay, so we're going to go to C. Now, the reason why I'm saying it's cheap because if you go down to the blue, as you can see how the sky is a bit, it looks a bit, um, a bit rough. So, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on to we're just going to leave it to that the image, okay? Press OK. So we'll leave it to that by purple. Um I'll show you in another photo tutorial how to do the good one. Uh if you know how to um the way to do it is just you know click on to right hand click button with options and then just head to uh color overlay and as you can see it's on red, so click on to for color overlay, change the color to whatever you want, or you could just also paste the code the exact you know color that you want, I go here and then just click on to multiply to get the effect and then as you can see, see it's the more professional and then you can just compare around with the opacity, make it be brighter and yeah, so on and so forth, okay, uh, but that's a bit, yeah, okay, now I also want to change the green, I want to change it to something else, I want to change it to probably uh, to match the city, so we're going to change that to um, the same color, I'd say. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, just, um, I don't know. Um, you know what? Just leave it like that. Okay, that was a waste of time anyway. Um, okay, now we're gonna place um, images of um, you know like singers or things like that. You want know, to place around here. Okay, so there's a there's a website that I always you know visit. You know that I get um, you know photos of of singers and things like that. And the website is called officialpsdds.com. Now PSD stands for Photoshop Document, and the S is just you know plural. Um, Okay, so so I just typed in here, you know, Kanye West, and these are the images that I came up with. As you can see, with the the good thing about these images is that they already cut the background out for you, so you only get the image of the um, the actual for a person or the artist or things that you're looking for. That's a really good thing. Okay, so we're gonna um, so we're gonna get. Um, you can always go to the next page and stuff. It's heaps of more. And as well, if you can do this yourself, actually, we'll get a picture of a big Sean. Um, and it's just, you, you could also do this yourself, but um, it, it does take you, you know, for a bit of time to, to cut out these things around. Um, and, you know, in the real industry, they use uh, a device called the graphic tablet. And uh, what you can do with that graphic tablet is that you could, um, you know, it's basically like another thumb mouse. You can play around with that to get um, you know the image in a color that you want. Okay, so we're going to paste this. Um, so paste it into your location. So I'm gonna um, yes. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about um, you know getting these images will be in the uh, in the packages that I um, you know that I'll get for you guys that you could you know, download from my website. So when it's there. So it will be in a zip file, just say double click. Okay, that's the benefit of using for Mac, you know, like you have to go through for WinZip or any of those retarded 
uh, programs to you know to unzip your programs um your your files okay and then just what we do is we go to a right hand click and then just import it to Photoshop and you can see the background is transparent and that's a good thing because we could just control we could you know just to copy this image paste it into our document as you can see it's pasted into our document so we're going to drag this image and bring it below behind the green thing okay so the green thing is the um we're going to use that as our um you know our border our trademark okay and then we're going to bring big sean put him right there put him right there actually uh yeah that's it okay so we're gonna uh yeah just leave it in there okay and so on on fourth and so on fourth you can just cut you know start you're putting if a lot of uh if i uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and pause this video while i get some more if images and uh i resume the image uh was it the video like when i get some more photos and stuff okay Okay, and uh, we are back. As you can see, I filled the document with, with a lot of photos of um, you know some various R and B singers and hip hop artists. You know, because I'm you know I'm a fan of R and B and hip hop, so I included you know some of my favorite um, you know if artists and I placed them here. Okay, now if, as you can see, if all these if images are placed them ready for you um, in the folder that you're going to download from shadedesigns.com. So you know, look, no need to worry. So it's over there. So what I just done is that you know I just place these you know like images in uh, strategic strategic locations, um, and also just place um, a logo that I made uh, for a music production uh, company. Just um, you know, um, well basically it's just it's a logo that I made. Um, it's a band or it's a group that I wanted to start called Ballers Entertainment. <laughs> I know it sounds pretty stupid, but that's the logo that I made for it. Um, okay, and then what we're going to do from there is we're going to place this uh, image also included in the package um, and then just open up in, um, in Photoshop, Control A to copy, paste it and paste onto the document as you can see, it's going to be placed round top, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we are going to press Control T, Command T or Command T on a Mac right hand click and then just click on to rotate 90 degrees for clockwise okay as you can see it rotated for us for 90 degrees clockwise um hold the shift key and then just put that there okay so just place it there and press ok and then what we're going to do is we're going to select the um was it the measuring tool we've copied this part of the um of the image actually before we do that actually just go back to um, just just go back uh, to the step that says free transform actually uh, the paste there just go back to you know the, the step that says for move um, in the history dialog and even I have the history for dialog just get it from for Windows history for dialog okay so we're going to do is because um, and the reason why I returned the I rotate it back to its original uh, thing is because uh, it, it has this gradient from black to grey so that's why I couldn't be stuff just in you know, play around with this okay so we're going to just to copy that part and we're going to move it over there so that's going to be uh, just you know what just slowly just shoot with your mouse oh, oh, oh. ah shite let's take it back sorry about that guys and then just use your mouse okay so we have that there and then we're gonna just uh, to drag this and press control T or command T and then just stretch it to the other side until it reaches to the other side okay and then just move that just a little bit and press enter there as you can see our image has been stretched so we're gonna so that's gonna be our text area okay so we're gonna um, type something there. So just make sure your text color is set to white. Um, just go for the text box, and uh, we're going to type in. Um, come on, Photoshop! Why taking this long, man? What's going on today? Okay, so just 
type in something, we're going to type in, um, just type in, uh, we're going to just type in hip hip hop, we're going to just type in hip hop, uh, hip hop legends. I'm just typing anything, it doesn't matter for this time, okay, because we're not designing a poster for a specific um, event, okay. And of course, this can be, you know, text, um, if any text, if, you know, like any text that you want to use. The text that I'm using at the moment is called, uh, let me just zoom in there, it's called the Birch Stead or something. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Uh, that's there, and we're just gonna we're gonna write something. Hip hop, hip hop for legend. Um, just type in one night at at the Hilton. Oh, that's some gay. Um, one night. Um, one night at um, at Shea Stadium. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, why not? <laughs> a bit of laughter. Okay. Don't worry about. Um, we're gonna to stretch that again. Okay. That part that came out. We're going to stretch it. Okay. Now the reason why I'm cutting the front part part is that if I stretch that part, it's gonna be a bit blurry. Um, so that's why I'm moving this part. And then you stretch this part here, okay? Okay, and uh, we are back, okay? Now from there, if I was, what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, if, cause I, I just had to pause the video, that's what I said. That's why I said uh, we're back. <laughs> but never mind. Um, okay, so on the layer that we are on, um, we're going to change this, I decided to change this to a pinkish for color, not pinkish but purplish. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing that because is I'm going to apply a gradient overlay on all these photos that we have, okay. So, you know, to change the color of this, you know, simply just go to image and then go to uh, adjustments and hue saturations, okay. From there we're going to just put this all the way to the end, okay. Um, and also just make sure that uh, the layer of the green um, the green card border and the layer of the circle are merged together and the way to merge two layers is by selecting the layers they want to merge for example this layer and this layer so you just select so you just hold the control or the command key right click and you click on to merge layer merge layer and that and what that does is that it pastes it pastes two of the layers into one. Um, okay, so it just makes sure that that those two layers are merged together before you change the colors. It just makes it a bit more easier for you. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to the layer that says for borders entertainment. I believe it's this one, and I'm just check. Yep, that's that one. Um, just go to image adjustments uh, exposure. And we're gonna set the offset to all the way to the right, and the the, the gamma correction all the way to the left. That just gives us that right pattern, okay? So, yep, yeah, that's that. And then we're gonna apply uh, the pink overlay thing I was talking about before. Um, so head on to your gradient uh, tool. So if you can't see it, is that it's because it's in the paint bucket for icon so right click and click onto gradient as you can see I selected this color you know like these two for colors and if you want the exact same color um, that's the code for the light pink the light pinkish color okay and uh, this is the color and well and that's the specific color for the, uh, for the dark one of course you could use black it's the same thing uh, press OK, and then we're going to click on to this one here, the Radiant, okay, so not Linear, Radiant, okay. Um, and make sure that you're drawing on a new for layer, on a layer that's for separate, um, you know, then to all the other layers. Hold your shift keys, and then just 
put your mouse and just drag it all the way down, okay? As you can see, it's a straight line, okay? So that's what you get. So this perfect, okay? So don't worry. Um, you know, the time skin said, I'll always, you know, where, like, where's my if, images? Like, where did they go? Right hand click on that specific, you know, if I laid that we did the gradient. Click on to building of options and then play around with these things and um, try to multiply. As you can see, we've got that type of, you know, effect, okay? But that's not useful for us because we have this for border thing around, okay? Um, and at the same time, this is what um, some of the movie posters, this is what they use, you know, to try to bring in, um, you know, for example, if it's uh, if a movie about, you know, for killers and gangsters and things like that, they use uh, specific techniques like this to try to bring in this type of uh, effects um, from to the posters, and then it just excites, you know, um, the people who want to, you know, see the video because it's just um, because all these things, all these for designing stuff that you see, it's all about, um, you know, just using your eye to, um, you know, or to buy things or to watch things. It's just that they use your eyes, and um, it's it's all about, um, I would say psychology really seriously because uh, if you look at it uh, for example a can of coke as you can see it's red um, you know if you're anywhere you know like where you go around the world and you want to you know for a coke body just look for the red can because you know it's you know it's coke straight away um, so you can see you're buying you know with your eyes instead of you know like oh, I was saying no, you know what I'm just going with overboard just ignore what I just said right now <laughs> uh, just click on to overlay a bit brighter. Okay, um, try to get these ones. No, oh, that's a bit worse. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so what you do is you click on to the lightened mode. Okay, and click on OK. So, so you can see that we have this nice little splash of uh, was a pink for light, and it's bright onto you know um, our, our images of the artist. Okay, so that's what we need. Um, but oh yeah, and as well as we're gonna create, we're gonna paste um, something called a texture. Now, if you ever, if you haven't heard of um, well, you know, a texture is it's something like this, okay? So just you know, just search for you know Google you know if you image search for Photoshop for textures. There's hundreds of these for literally, um, and then just go for you know the one that you want, okay? So you know, I'm just gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go for let's go for this one, okay? Just make sure that you select the large image as always. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. While that is loading for some reason, um, if other things that you could uh, include, um, uh, you know, some text, you know, for behind, you know. Uh, you know, like the guys, um, you know, you know, like behind the heads or things like that. You could also put some marketing uh, for logos and things like that. You know, just to you know for promotion or things like that. Okay. Um, oh, this is ridiculous. Okay. Um, you know, what, just go for just go for this one. Okay. Image. Okay. Copy that. I actually just let it load. Um, yeah, if you copy an image whilst loading, once you paste it into Photoshop, it will give you, um, you know, like only the part that you copied and the rest of the image will be black. So it's good to just to wait for the image to, you know, to download first, okay? Uh, press Control V or Command V um, and then place this on the top, top, top of all the layers, okay? Uh, Control T or Command T um, and just reduce this down. Again, holding the shift key. Okay, so we have that. Now, the best part is we're gonna, as you can see, this type of um, the effect or the texture on this image is gonna be applied to of all the other fillets that we have created. So by doing that, you can just press uh, right click on the actual fillet that we're on, click on to blend with options, and go to done. Was a fatigue like any of this? Just click, you know, pair around with these ones, um, and I believe it's overlay. Try overlay. So you can see our image got some kind of rough edges. So you see that? So that's that looks a bit dirty. 
uh, try to get to multiply, to dark, um, to bright, soft. Uh, that looks. Um, uh, no, 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 go. That looks. No, no, no. Um, Um, just go for soft light. Nope. Sorry. Uh, what's the one that I just had right now? No, not this one. That's O. Come on. What's overlay? What's overlay? Yeah, it's overlay. Okay. So just click on to overlay. Um, and the best part of this, the reason, you know, now you have this on top of all the layers. If, you know, say, you know, like say for example, if you have an image here that you that you don't want this little, um, you know, for textures to be for placed on top, simply just get your rubber tool and then just go over that part. See, as you can see, we just cleared the area that we don't want to, um, you know, that we don't want that there's for textures to be placed on top. Okay. Okay. Now you can do it slowly, but I'm just, you know, just be there in a hurry. Okay. So like once you have that there, um, and that's about it. That's your movie poster or for music poster that you have, you know, the day you created for yourself. And as you can see, you know, it, you know, it didn't take that much time. Uh, for usually, um, if you want to do it professionally, it takes, uh, you know, a couple of hours to do. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it, you know, that's, um, that's it for today's tutorial, I hope you learned something, and uh, as I said to earlier, you can download the files of the photos that I use for this Photoshop in, on my website, just head to shadedesigns.com, um, and under the video tab, just click on to tutorial materials, and um, it will be placed there, and you'll be able to download as a zip file, though. until then, take care, and peace.